Okay, so not a lot of people know this, but I actually don't really like hawks. <laughs> so, um, I'm doing this one because it's for a plot purpose for a Bakugo one and a Midoriya one. So that's why I'm doing it. And this one also revolves around a song. I'm not singing it. I'm just going to be speaking it. Because, yeah. Alright, now let's continue. <laughs> Gather around, children, as I tell you the story of the sun god Hawks and the moon goddess Yin. Now the moon and sun are the ones who keep the world in balance. The sun god Hawks is in charge of the seasonal weather and has power over, I think, illusions. So it is his job to keep around the world's light, keeping the god of the underworld locked away. The moon goddess is the protector of dreams and healing. She gives the world a rest so we can have the strength for another day. But our story begins with Hawks. One day, as Hawks guided his son balanced across the sky, one of the servants of the underworld attacked. The god of death, Dobby, surprised Hawks but he was able to defeat Dobby and send him back to the underworld. Af Sadly, after the battle, Hawks was too injured to properly guide the sun in his, ba in his palace. This didn't go unnoticed by Yin. As she guided her palace and the moon over the sun's palace to he oh my God. investigate, there she found Hawks immediately horribly injured inside his palace so she quickly got to work and healed the sun god during this time hawks was able to get a good look at his celestial opposite and fell head over heels for a loof moon goddess sadly this encounter didn't last long as soon as hawks was healed yin quickly left and returned her journey of being the knight leaving Hawks over the moon in love for her. Leaving Hawks, oh shit, sorry, but he cannot break the balance, so he left to pin for her from afar, only able to catch a glimpse at her at dusk and dawn. Okay, so this is when the song part starts, so I'm not singing it. As you recall, I am just speaking it. Yay! Okay, as Hawks gazed at the ever-feeding moon on the opposite side of the sky, he looked down at his palm as he created a small illusion of Yin. In his hands, she smiled sweetly at him. I'm the one who had it all. I was the master of fate. I never needed anyone in my life. I learned to trust too late. Hawks looks at his lonely castle as he slowly got up and made his way up the stairs. I'll never shake away the pain. I close my eyes, but she's still there. I let her steal into oh God, my matrimony heart. It's more than I could ever bear. He stops to look out the nearby window to see the moon slowly... Gosh, I cannot read today. I think distance below the horizon, but his content, but he continued his way up the stairs. Huh. Now I have, no, now I know she'll never leave me, even as she runs away, she will still torture me, calm me, hurt me, more, move me, come what may. Soon as he entered a large and empty ballroom and standing in the meadows was the illusion of Yin smiling sweetly at him, his heart flustered in his chest as he bowed and offered his hand. Was wasting in a lovely tower, waiting by an open door, I'll fool myself, she'll walk right in, and with me forevermore. 
the illusion happily accepted as it danced across the ballroom. I rage against the trials of love. I curse the fading of the light, though she's already flown so far beyond my reach. She'll never, she's never out of my sight. He said, as the illusion dissolved into red feathers, he quickly chased the red feathers out the window. He spread his wings and flew to the tallest tower of the castle. He stood on the balcony as he watched as the moon started to set. Oh God. Now I know she'll never leave me, even as she fades into view. She will still inspire me, be a part of my everything I do. He plucked a lily from the closest planting vine as he, he, as he let his feathers carry the flower miles over to the moon. He watched as the lily started to disappear into the distance. Wasting in my lonely tower, waiting by an open door. I'll fool myself, she'll walk right in, and as long and long nights begin, I'll think of all the nights have been waiting here forevermore. As the lily traveled, it soon managed to reach the moon palace. Yin stood on the balcony, staring onwards, when a red feather and a lily by the way, you can pick what lily you want. And here is a pink and white lily. So yeah, you can pick though. Yin gently looked at the lily as the feathers fluttered around her. As she watched the f them fly back to the sun. As she watched them, a small smile took shape on her face. <laughs>